early signs of life on a cold, dark morning. Winter brings opportunities for me to reach an advantage spot to enjoy the sun rising. The light was slowly improving and a new time was not on my side despite my efforts. The sun quickly made its appearance as I managed to capture the first light on the fell tops. Something, however, was stirring in the valley below. Good morning, and it is a wonderful morning. Here in the Grisdale Valley, I'm just heading my way up to the hole in the wall, which is basically the gateway onto Strand Edge, which is uh, an infamous ridge leading onto Hell Valley. It's absolutely glorious. <clears throat> I'm really short, just had some peanuts. A bit of a stopover, get a bit of energy. But the sun is out, and we've got a little bit of mist, fog in the valleys. However, I'll be honest, I am a bit disappointed. Looked on mountain weather information services last night and it was forecasted for widespread inversions across the Lake District. Yeah. So the plan was to set off early, get myself up to uh, the start of Stride Edge and see what I can find. Really looking forward to an inversion. Never really witnessed it. And I'm not going to witness one today. However, I do like the sign. I do like the uh, signs of that. I think that's building up actually. That's um, in the valley just below Place Fell. So the plan today is to not <sighs> Not going to Australian Edge, but actually dip down or head down towards Red Tarn and then up to Cat's Eye Cam, which is quite a, um, a, a, a conical looking shape, a conical shaped mountain, uh, which featured in my last vlog. Now, snow, we had plenty of it last time, didn't we? But look, it's Patchy. To be honest, we've had some strange weather. At one point since that last vlog, I think it reached about 15 Celsius. And today, really cold in the valley. Uh, it's about minus one when I set off this morning. Uh, now it's about four Celsius. It's actually getting warmer, hence the forecasted inversions. I also plan to head back onto Burkhouse Moor. I'm going to see what there is once I get to the top and the hole in the wall. So this was my intended route for today, starting from Patadel, head up towards Hell Velin and the hole in the wall. Once I'd reached there, get across to Red Tarn before head up to Swill Edge and is set to Katzai Cam. Returning from Katzai Cam over to Burkhouse Moor and head back down towards where I started from and joined the route there, which would then eventually take me back to Patterdale, lovely area near Ugswater. hole in the wall and that there you go striding edge hell valley that is cat's eye cam there and the path I'm going to take which takes me down to Red Tarn is this one here however I'm going to head back 
I say head back, I'm going to head towards Burke House Moor because there is an inversion going on over Ulls Water and I'm going to take, I want to take advantage of it. Yeah. So change of plan, change of route, I'm heading back, tap the sticks on Burke House Moor because what I'm doing, if you remember, I'm continuing the, uh, so, smile on my face. I'll show you what I'm looking at in a minute. But yeah, I'm continuing to redo the Eastern Fells. I need to look at the camera. Okay, without further ado, this is what's exciting me. All's water draped in mist and inversion. Right, I'm gonna get to the edge and see what I can take. I'll find, a grab. It's most likely gonna be with my uh, long lens, 70 to 200. Okay, I'm gonna take my time here, have some fun, and then I'm gonna head back towards Horn Wall, and take the path down to Red Town. Conditions are changing every second revealing new features trees and the light as well now I could have planned a bit better I could have looked at the forecast and come up earlier and position myself got a, uh, a good composition so I've got a, a, a best opportunity as possible but to be honest I don't do that and if you follow my vlogs you know I don't do that I'm just a photographer who takes the best images for that moment. I'm not into planning. This is more the moment as well. I've been here, what, about half an hour? I think it's as important to showcase it as well in the form of videography as well as taking stills, but this is just wonderful. So I'm currently set up few time lapses but I've just been firing away handheld uh, and as I say new features are just revealing itself it's it's it's, it's not shifting at all and to be honest today I think opportunities are gonna be very limited as I head towards Cat's Eye Cam because there's no mist there's no fog the light is quite harsh so I'm at a point just to come over here because if this is all I get today then I'm gonna leave a happy man. joined the path heading back up to the hole in the wall and then eventually 
uh, heading up to Cat's Eye Camp. It's a wonderful day for hiking, it must be said. <sighs> I'll tell you, wow, what a wonderful start that was, Wolves Water. A little bit of a breeze, nice chill. There's hardly any clouds in the sky as well. Photography wise, we may have had the moment, but we shall see. See what we can find at the end, at the top of Cat's Eye Camp. Now, I've recently redesigned my website. Um, it's dedicated to my black and white photography because, as you know, if you follow me, I do like my black and white images. I thought, why not? It's my space in the internet. Um, and what I've done, I've divided it into collections, and collections are basically an album. Albums of images which fit a theme. There's already carved in there, which is uh, Yorkshire Dales, a limestone features. There's already that uh, on there. And I've recently added one called Veiled. place. I remember when I first came here, like a veil of fog, and of course it was all new so I had that mystery, very ethereal and dark. It's like an amphitheatre. You've got the striding edge, you probably just see the outlines of climbers there, I lean onto El Velin and then Cat's Die Cam where I'm heading next. I'm just going to take a moment, grab a coffee before I head up there. But you can tell it doesn't get a lot of sunlight. Feel the temperature has dropped. We're down to zero now. And that leaves some wonderful ice formations. Look at this. <sighs> worth, worth a look. Can't guarantee I'm gonna get anything, but coffee and then head up there and see what else there is to find. Swirl edge, that's the opposite ridge which leads up to Helvellyn. I've just started my ascent up to Cat's Eye Camp. Look at these views, wonderful. Bit of inversion there in the distance. See what we can get at the top of Cat's Eye Camp. Made it, Cat's Eye Camp. Oh, quite a, a short but steep ascent. I'm just going to scan the views, but already I can see potential. You've got behind me and uh, south. But a telephoto working opposite north. Um, yeah, lovely stuff to our skid oh, inversions. Now, remember what I said about opportunities? Remember Oldswater not long ago? Look at it now, completely cleared. Gone, right. Telephoto time, handheld. See what I can capture. It's blowing. Quite a hooly actually, but it's it's acceptable. It's really enjoyable, and I'm having the time of my life. 
there's a brass band playing Christmas carols on the top of Hell Valley. What more do you want? Anyway, I'm going to leave you now. Once I finish here, obviously I'd back down. Uh, so that is it. End of another enthralling day. Excellent day. Wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Keep smiling. Till next time. Bye bye for now. Mm -hmm.